God born? Because God is the spirit of life and anyone that's born, God is in them. So how many times is God born? My birthday was 57 years ago. Was God born 57 years ago? Stick to what the Bible said. That's right. The Bible ain't never said that we shall be born of thee shall be called God. No. Because God is not born. Well, Pastor Genesis gave Bible that only the son part was born. You overlooked the very prophecy in Isaiah 96. 96. Hey, Amen. Quickly now, stay ahead of me. Isaiah hey, man, chapter 96. I didn't get no six. sleep all night. Stay ahead of me now. You gotta help keep me woke now. Isaiah 96. Focus on the language of the Bible. For unto us, unto us, a child. What? A child. A what? A child. God is no child. God ain't nobody's child. On us, a child, a child is born. Oh, and say, well, how can God be in something and not have a beginning? Easy. <laughs> God is in the world, That's right. but God don't have no beginning. The world is His creation. God is in me. You may not believe it, may not accept it, and I really don't care. Yeah. That's right. God is in Pastor Genesis, but God was here before I was. That's right. God was in Moses, That's right. who was here first. Moses or God? Yeah. God was in Elijah. God was in Elisha. God was in all the holy prophets. God was in the apostles. When God made them, that was not the beginning of God. No. God has no beginning and God has no ending. That's right. Or did God but the sacrifice, the offering, the lamb that was designed, set aside before the foundation of the world through prophecy was foreordained to take away the sins of creation. For, That's the thing that was born. That's right. All right. For run to us a child is born. A child. Child is born. Child. And yet child. God was in that child. That's right. And God was not the child. Yeah. God ain't no child. No. Uh -uh. no, God ain't got to grow. No. And God don't learn. That's right. I thought you preached Jesus Christ is God. I do. And he is. But I ain't talking about the flesh. That flesh ain't God. That's right. Amen. If the flesh is God, then it make the Catholics right when they say hell married a mother of God. That's right. And you believe that lie, you are go to hell. That's right. Telling that lie on God. That's right. Hell married a mother of God. God ain't got no mother. God is not a man. God is not a man. God is not a man that he should lie. But what? Neither the son of man. That he should repent. Oh, and say, but Jesus was a man, that's true, but the man of him was not God. God was in that man, and the man took on the name of the spirit, and the spirit name was Jesus, and the flesh inherited that's right. that same name. That's, right. that's why whenever the flesh talk about his name, he come along promoting the spirit. And if you read the things about Jesus, he never gloried in his flesh. Right. He always pointed to the spirit. What you mean pointed to the spirit? When he referred to father, he ain't referring to another God. He referred to the nature that was in him that made him a sacrifice for the world. That's right. All right. For unto us a child is born. Child, flesh, blood, human, body. Is born. Is born. Unto us a son is given. God didn't die. That's right. You can't kill God. That's right. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. You can't kill God. Brother, if you can kill God, I'm scared of you. Amen. Because that means you got power. That's right. They killed the prince of life, but they didn't kill God. That's right. Because when he died, God already came out. He's out of there. Yeah. Right. And went to the lower parts of the earth. They never touched God. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Never touched God. Amen. But they touched the body that God was in. To the degree that after he died, they went to go break the legs, and uh, but they didn't break his legs because he was dead already. Oh, Not only that, the prophecy had his body under well surveillance, and the prophecy had his body under protection, and the prophets, amen, had his body well insured. They went to break him, but they couldn't do it. And the reason For why these they things couldn't were done. do it because the prophet said they couldn't. That's right. Huh? That's right. The Bible said not a bone would be broken. For these Amen. things were and done. Being it said not a bone would be broken, they went and broke the legs of the thieves. You see, the reason why they broke the legs back then, 
That way they make sure you're dead and you can't move around. That's right. In case superstition step in folk. Right. Amen. But when Jesus died, they pressed, one preacher said, you got it wrong. They pressed Jesus in the side before he died. And I said, no, they came to Jesus after he died. That's right. They came to Jesus after he died. But when they came to Jesus, Listen at this. now in the book of St. John, chapter 19 and verse 33. When they came to Jesus. And saw that he was dead already. That settles that. They saw that he was already dead. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers one with the a soldier. spear pierced his side. Did what? And, and, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. And what? And forthwith came there out blood and well, water. After he died, they pierced him in the side out came blood and water. That's so right. here you had the son of God. The origins, the place where the son of God originated from was prophecy being predestinated before the foundation of the world to come into the world to take away the sins of the world. But with the precious blood of Christ. Listen at this. Now in the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. The precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb. Listen, listen. Don't read quick. Don't read quick. Pay attention to the language of the book. Yes. Pay attention to the language of the book. Listen closely. But with the precious blood of Christ. What is it? As of as a lamb. As a sacrifice. That's right. That what? Without blemish without and without blemish. spot. Without blemish what? Without blemish and without spot. What else? Who verily was foreordained. When? Before the foundation of the world. No, he exists before the foundation of the world. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. It didn't say he exists before the foundation of the world. No. It said he was foreordained. Now, when a thing is foreordained, it don't exist yet. It's foreordained for a certain time, a future time. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. In the book of Galatians, Give me the book of Galatians chapter, chapter 4 and at verse 4. And let's look at the word time. But when the fullness of the time was and, come. And even so, we were children in bondage. Even so, we Under the elements of the world. But when the, when full, the fullness of the time, of time was come. Was come. God sent God, forth his son. Wait a minute. Time had to be fulfilled. That's right. Certain time. That's right. Certain arrival. And when you finish that, go back to the first chapter of the book of Luke and let's see what month was it when Gabriel came to Mary. Because if it says fullness of time, you got to have a certain month in order for that time to be put into action. When the fullness of time was come, God sent forth the Son. Made of a made woman. Made in heaven. Ma made of a woman. Oh, no, 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 no. You better read that right. Amen. Read that right. What's the matter with you? You got glasses and I'm tired now. God right. sent forth his son made of a woman. No, 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 no. God sent forth his son made in heaven. God sent forth his son made of a woman. No, made in heaven. Made of a woman. Somebody's lying and it ain't the Bible. That's right. Made of a woman during what time? Made under the law. Hold it! All that's pointing to earth. Why? Moses' law was not in heaven. That's right. It was made under the law. Under the Let you know what law was ruling the earth during the time of Jesus' birth. That's right. He was made of a woman, made under the law. And under the law. For what reason? To redeem them that were under the law. You see, he was he come along being born during the time of Moses' law. That's why he stood between law and and grace he's called mediator so he can grasp you in he pulled you over from the law what you mean he pulled you from the law he come along getting rid of all them old sacrifices that amounted to nothing yet they represent him bless god but he come along taking the place of all sacrifice he took the place of the bread offering and said, I'm that bread from heaven. He took the place of the water being poured on the stone. He said, I'm the stone whom the builders refused to come to the head of the corner. He took the place of the meat offering. It is rifted meat for the belly and belly for the meat. He took the place of the ox. Ezekiel said, I saw four beasts with it were four faces on each side, had a face of a man, the face of an ox, face of an eagle, and the face of a lion, face of a man, meaning how he would have favor with God, face of an ox, meaning he'll be a sacrifice, face of an eagle will show you the quickness of God and face blessed God of a lion will show you the authority of God. All right. To redeem them that were under the to law. redeem them. Pull them from the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Wait a minute. How will we become sons? That we might 
to redeem them that are under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. You know, we were orphans. We were, we, and the world was an orphanage. That's right. Having no hope. That at that time ye were without Christ. I told you. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 12. At that 12, time. Ye were without Christ. Ye were without God. Being aliens, aliens from the commonwealth from of the Israel. From the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers, strangers. From the covenants of promise. From the covenant of promise. Having no hope. No hope. And without God in oh, the world. Thank God without God in the world. But now. Now. In Christ Jesus. What? But now, in Christ Jesus. Now in Christ Jesus. Ye who sometimes were far off. To ye, ye Gentiles. That's right. Were sometimes far off. Are made nigh by the blood of Christ. They got close now. That's right. By the blood. Of Christ. Uh, by the blood of Christ. And that blood didn't come from heaven. That's right. That blood didn't come from heaven. And, and here, here, let me go further now. The blood didn't come from heaven. And the blood didn't come from David's house. Wait a minute, Pastor General, how can you say that? The blood that was running through David's house was tainted yeah. with Adam's sin yeah. and with Adam's transgression. Right. You better give me St. John, chapter, John one. chapter 1. And we're at verse 13. Let me show you, thank God, when I say he made a body, I mean he made everything. everything. Huh? He didn't need no blood from David's house. David's house needed his blood. That's right. All right. St. John chapter 1 and verse 13. That's what? Which were born. Listen at the birth of Jesus. Which is born? Not of blood. Not of blood? Nor of the will of the flesh. Uh-oh. Nor of the will of the flesh, meaning there was no sweetheart to come along for him to get here. That's right. What? Nor of the will of man. Uh, Mary didn't lust after no man, and man didn't lust after Mary for him to get here. But of God. Who made him? But of God. How did he arrive? Of God. That's right. Now, Hebrew says this. As the children are partakers of flesh and blood. blood. He, talking about Jesus, also himself likewise took part of the same that he, through death, may destroy him that had the power of death. Of death. He didn't take on the nature of angels. But we see Jesus. Listen at this. Now in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9. We see Jesus. But we see Jesus who was made. Hey, wait a minute. That part ain't talking about God. That's right. God ain't made. That's right. Everything that's made got a beginning. That's right. Get this viewers. We're not preaching to God's. When Jesus was walking here on earth, which was God manifested in the flesh, it wasn't two gods. Yeah. It was two natures. The spirit that was in that body, that was God and that was everywhere. And the body itself was the son of God. And that nature can only be in one place at a time. Listen. But we see Jesus. We see Jesus. Who was made a little lower than the angels. He was made a little lower. A little lower. The nature of flesh and blood is uh, lower than the nature of spirit. Right. All right. Who was made a little lower than the angels. That's what? For the suffering of death. He was made... In that nature, for what reason? For the suffering of death. And crowned with glory, crowned and, with glory and, honor, and honor. That he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Yes. For as much then as the children. Listen at this. As much then as the children. Are partakers, are of, flesh partakers and blood, of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same. And what? That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. Who is it? That is the devil. What else? And deliver them who through fear of death yes. were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Uh -huh. But verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Listen, viewers. Jesus didn't take on the natures of angels. You know why? He had that already. The right. Bible said he maketh this angel spirit. So when he was manifesting the flesh, he didn't come to take on the natures of angels because God was already spirit. But what did he do? But he took, he on, him took on him the seed the of Abraham. Seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham was not in heaven. The seed of Abraham didn't start in heaven. The seed of Abraham didn't come from heaven. Abraham's seed is an earthly seed right here on earth, on this planet. That's right. So when he made that body, he didn't just make flesh, he made an entire sacrifice. That's right. Jesus' blood was superior, higher, better 
than everybody. How much more shall the blood of Christ? Listen at this. Listen at this. In Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 14. And then I want you to go back to the book of Luke. When let's deal with time, the fullness of time. And you'll see when the Bible said we're in the sixth month. Yeah. That's when the angel Gabriel came. Read quick because so much coming to my mind. And then I want the first chapter of the book of Romans so I can get uh, what it consists of. And then I want the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians so I can get that same thing that he consists of was not allowed to go up there. That's right. All right. Now, now we're in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 14. Solomon. How much more shall the blood of Christ. How much more shall the blood of Christ. Who through the eternal spirit. Who through the spirit. Offered himself without spot to God. What? Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the but living if God. If his blood was like yours, I had a man tell me, Jesus' blood was just like mine. And I asked him, why don't you die for everybody? That's right. Let me see you die, you fool. That's a fool and an eternal fool. That's right. Jesus' blood was like yours? No, Jesus' body was better than yours. That's right. Amen. Now why? He, only he can die for you. Yeah. He was and shall always be the only infallible, perfect, spotless, flawless sacrifice. That's right. Only he. That's, right. That's why he died, my God. That thing affect heaven and earth so much until darkness, why he hung there. Yeah. Darkness, glory to God, covered the earth. Amen. Heaven lights went out and then the earth began to shake like a drunken man. It is written how the earth quaked and darkness fell. Amen. That let you know heaven and earth had to acknowledge that the sacrifice was done. And you hear Jesus saying at his end, it's finished. It's finished. What do you mean it's finished, Jesus? I fulfilled it. I've done it. I tried praying getting out of it, but I couldn't do it. I'm done. It's finished. I'm dead now. Well, how are you dead and you're still talking? My body is dead. Amen. That's just my clothes. Spirit steps out of it. Huh? Spirit come out and go down to the lower parts of the earth. Why? The spirit had to meet the ones that he met before. The prophets. Huh? Spirit went on down there. Why, listen, while they was taking the body off the cross, spirit was gone. Yeah. Being gone. For, for this cause was the gospel and, preached. And why? Because he had to go to the lower parts of the earth, which is the grave, which is hell. There are two hells. There's the hell, which is the grave. Then there's a lower hell, which is the eternal hell that I'm trying to keep you out of. Yeah. Listen at this. But you started to read, son. For, now, this, cause was for, for this cause was the gospel preached. Chapter and verse. First John chapter 4 and at verse 6. For this cause was the gospel preached. To what? Also to them that are dead, uh -huh. that they might be judged according to men in, in the flesh. And what? But live according to God in the, the spirit. The Bible said he preached to those spirits. That's right. He preached to those spirits right. that was in prison. The Son of God couldn't preach to the spirits in prison. Why, Pastor Jennings? Because the spirits that was in prison was all around the world. And only the nature of the spirit can be every place at the same time. By That's which also... Why, listen at this. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 19. By which also he went. He went. And preached unto the spirits. And preached to the spirit In prison. That was in the grave. So here, 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 here. Glory to God. The spirit of God preached to the spirit that was in prison. in prison. The spirit of God preached to the spirit that was in prison because the spirit of God is everywhere. Now think of it. He preached to the spirits that was in prison. That goes from the first man death, Adam, yeah. all the way up to Jesus' death. That's right. And the son of God was a local. He only could be in one place at a time. But the spirit of God Everywhere. 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 He preached to the spirits. By which also he went and preached unto the he spirits. To the spirits. In prison. In prison. For for this cause for was this the gospel cause preached. Was the gospel preached. Also to them that are also dead. Also to them that are dead. That they might be judged that according they might to be men judged in the flesh. According to men in the flesh. But and live, live according to God in the spirit. So that body of flesh and blood originated in David's house in the first chapter of the book of Luke. And at verse quickly. 26. And begin at verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel gave That was the fullness of time. That's right. 
That's, that's, when, that's when time got things activated there. That's right. Amen. Things got activated in the sixth month mm -hmm. when the angel Gabriel. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God. Sent from God. Unto a city of Galilee to named the city Nazareth. city of Galilee. Uh -huh. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was a Joseph. A virgin engaged to a man Joseph. Of the house of David. Yes. And the virgin's name was Mary. Uh -huh. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. Yes. The Lord is with thee. The Lord Bless is with you, Mary. Blessed art thou. Among women. No, the Catholics added that. Yeah. The Catholics said, Hail Mary, Mother of God. Blessed art thou above women. Amen. But the Bible says, The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Oh, among them. Among women. Not above them. That's right. And so uh, you may as well just get that sales. <laughs>